Hello and welcome back to Sculpted by Jen. Today we have a great upper body weight training workout for you. So grab some dumbbells to light to medium weight and let's start with some shoulder rolls to get our body warmed up and prepared for movement. Roll those shoulders to the front a few times. And then we're gonna reach the arms out to the front, open up along the back, and then squeeze the elbows to the back, open up along the front. Go ahead, so round the shoulders, reach the arms forward, pull the shoulders back, the elbows back, and stretch across the chest. Let's do that a few more times. Reach and open, reach, and let's do some wrist circles here. So grab a hold of your fingers, roll your wrists around a few times. And let's bring it around the other direction. Awesome. Open and close the fingertips a few times, hands onto thighs, flat back down and round up. Good, continue that a few more times. Flat back down and round up. Good, last one, flat back down, round up, round up, round up. And let's take it down a little bit further. So walk the hands down the thighs and then come back up into that flat back position. Good, exhale, round from the belly button, reach the fingertips down towards the toes, get some stretch along the backside, glutes, hamstrings, low back, lengthening and extending along the backside of the body. Awesome, let's do that again. Stretch. Hands around the opposite elbows, just rounding side to side, elbow to knee, elbow to knee, holding it in that downward position for just a few more seconds. Good, go ahead, reach for those dumbbells and let's get started. All right, come up into a tall elevated position and then hinge from the hips, flat back. Go ahead, back up into that tall elevated position. So going into your slightly bent knee deadlift, working into the back, starting to warm up the arms. And we're going for 10 reps of each movement. So as you are moving through each exercise, simple count of 10 will let you know we are almost there. Awesome. Nice and slow. If you can see, check yourself in that side mirror. Make sure we're keeping the back nice and flat from the crown all the way to the tailbone. Awesome. From here, let's go into a single arm upright row, just lifting one side at a time. Go ahead, lift up to the base of the chest line. Elbow stays below the shoulder line or just to that shoulder line. Awesome. Keeping the dumbbells really close to the body. Good. So you can see here, I'm lifting up to about that shoulder line or just below on each side. Sometimes we have to check out the arms to make sure they're doing what we ask them to, right? So don't be afraid to just double check, look at that side, make sure your elbow is staying down, make sure your shoulder is staying down. So we're not shrugging the shoulders as we lift the elbows up. I think that's a hard one to disassociate, but we want to keep the shoulders down. We want to keep the tension out of the neck as we lift up, just focusing on that back and shoulder line. Awesome. Let's go back into that hip hinge and add an, a back row. All right, so we're gonna hip hinge, wide row, back to the knees and rise. Good, now keep the belly button braced nice and tight. Again, elbows staying down below the shoulder line, pinching the scapula in and together along the back. So as you come up, pull the elbows in and then kind of try to like pinch into the spinal region. Good, so feel that pinch into the back muscles, feel that strength into the arms.
diving into our next move upright row with overhead press all right so for this one we want to keep our knees nice and soft maybe soften the weight as we lift up soft bend into the knees and then press those weights on up to the sky Go ahead, so drag the weights up really close to the body, push the weights up to the sky, catch at the shoulder, and then release. All right, so as you lift up, elbows stay below the shoulder, and then a quick flip of the elbow before we push up. Good, elbows up, drop, and down. Awesome, keeping the weights nice and close the whole time, belly brace to protect the back as we move through these exercises. Next move, right into our bicep row. So we're gonna hip hinge, curl, keeping the weights nice and close. Your palms are facing forward, elbows squeeze in and back. We're still using the muscles along the back. Good, keeping everything nice and tight to the body. Keeping the back flat, core braced, strong straight line from the tailbone up to the crown of the head. God, really doing a lot of great back exercises today. This is going to help keep us nice and open along the front of the body. Building our back musculature is fantastic for your posture. It's fantastic to actually take some of our back pain away. So when we work our back, it in turn gets stronger, allowing us to be able to carry ourselves. From our bicep row, we're going into single arm bicep curls. Let's go ahead and lift one up. Elbow stays kind of tied in towards the waistline. And the dumbbell comes from that thigh or hip line, depending on how long your arms are, to kind of just a fist distance from the shoulder. Keeping the elbow again tied in is going to isolate into the biceps. A few more rounds just like that. Go ahead, keeping our posture strong and aligned. I like to think that our biceps are kind of like kids. So if we're not paying attention, they don't always do what we ask them to. So if you feel like yours might be having the same issue, I challenge you to double check, look over towards your bicep. It's not vanity. It is making sure that they're doing what they're asked. From your bicep curl, we are gonna go into kind of that clean and press motion again, but we are going to go from a curl straight up into an Arnold press. Good, so curl the weight up about fist distance from shoulder, push the weight up to the sky, catch, and then release. Awesome, let's do that again. Curl, press, catch, and release. Curl, press, catch, and release. Go ahead. These compound movements start to utilize more than one set of muscles, and they really allow us to get maximal benefit in the minimal amount of time. So that means you get quicker results in a shorter time frame. From single arm, if you're up for it, go ahead into your double arm. Both biceps curl up and both shoulders press to the sky. Good, so the hands turn from that inward rotation to an outward rotation as we press the dumbbells up to the ceiling. Keep the elbows tied in towards the waist as they come down. Go ahead, a slight forward lift before we push them up towards the sky. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Good, curl, press, catch, and release. Continue up, 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 set, and rest. Awesome, let's put one of those dumbbells down and let's move next into a lunge position. From that lunge position, we are going to curl the weight up towards the waist, belly button in, and press back into a tricep press. Good, continue a few more rounds like that. Elbow stays kind of just under the shoulder line. And it stays high as we kick the weight back. Flexing along the back of the arm. So this is 
elbow towards shoulder, squeezing into the tricep. Continue to press back and then release. Let's do the other side. All right, so we pull, brace the core, and then go into those kickbacks. Press, press, push, push. Awesome, awesome, awesome. You've just got a few more left and remaining to go. So good. From that tricep extension or tricep kickback, let's go into a tricep overhead press. So we're gonna grab the dumbbell with both hands, elbows stay stacked kind of just in front of the shoulder line and then squeeze along the back of the arm to bring that weight overhead. Core is braced, maybe we have a soft bend into the knees. Good, keeping the elbows kind of around the temple or just behind. Squeeze up along the back of the arm. Just a few more. Doing so good. We have done so much work in such a short amount of time. Let's go back. Grab our second dumbbell once again. Just a few more exercises to take us on our way. We're going to come down to one knee. Go into some shoulder work, starting with a wide rear delt raise. We're going to keep the elbows bent for this. Slight hip hinge forward, so nose over toes, elbows stay under the shoulder line, and we just squeeze up again into the scapula, into the back. Very similar to that standing row we did earlier, but now focusing on the deltoids, on the shoulders in the back. Anytime we do these hip hinges, we wanna make sure our abs are braced. So keep the belly button pulled back and away from the spine as we go into our next move, our single arm straight raise out to the front or our front deltoid raise. So we're bringing the weight straight arm out from thigh all the way to about the shoulder line. Same thing as before. If you are up for it, let's go for both arms at the same time. All right, so lifting up to that shoulder line, keeping our core braced, everything nice and strong along the trunk. Just a few more reps like that. You could stay with that alternating raise if that felt better for you, or if you start to feel fatigue or you lose your form while you are doing these. Let's take another step forward into our kneeling lunge stance and go into our bicep row, squeezing into the back again, squeezing into the shoulders, squeezing into the biceps, kind of pinching the elbows in and back as we lift. Almost there, here we go, all right. Last one, side deltoid raise. We're gonna keep the elbows bent, palms face in, and then palms face down as the elbows come up to the top. Keep the shoulders down and kind of just imagine you are lifting the elbows. So imagine that weight is actually on the elbows. Can you push up against that weight? Squeeze, so good, keep going. Remember, this is your last exercise, all set. Let's go into some shoulder stretches to open up. You all did so amazing, such a great job. Hope you're feeling good, feeling accomplished. Bicep stretch here, flexing the fingertips back towards you, opening up from bicep to forearm, and then into our tricep stretch. You can grab below the elbow, head up tall, or you could even push from below whatever feels best for you. Let's do that on the other side. Thank you all so much for joining me today. It was a pleasure working out with you. I hope you got some great benefits from this workout. Remember, you can do it again. Just hit stop, replay, and if you enjoyed it, like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thanks so much. Take care and have a great day.